Greetings and salutations, this is Ivan Dogovich, up close and personal with Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. In this first episode, we will set up our first base and take care of some housekeeping, but before we do that, I wanted to um, I wanted to get back in here to the settings really quick and add one more mod that I had mistakenly forgotten called the incendiary grenade by fat rat it's a really great um it adds another grenade that will allow you to spread fire 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 so that's good um so i am adding that mod in there all the other mods that i'm running and all the other settings i have in the very beginning episode the intro episode 000 of this series so i invite you to take a look at that one let's get that going and open xcom reloads automatically to bring in the mod and um uh, let's go new game new game now the question is do we try to play this on superhuman and the answer is no I'll leave that good stuff to Meridian and other amazing guys. Um, the main reason is there's the very real possibility that we'll be wiped out um, even before we start. Um, a base attack mission against us in the first month, and I've tried this a couple times with Superhuman, um, and the, sometimes the first thing that can happen is the enemies just invade your base. And with the very opening starting gear, there's a very real possibility that we won't survive that. Um, I have had my base wiped out as the very first thing that's happened. So we won't. We'll be playing veteran. I think that the challenge that we've got with grenades, melee, and um, pistols only, I think that will be plenty of challenge. So veteran it is. Okay. So the question here is, do we put a base here in Turkey and cover down on Europe uh, or do we go with North America and um, and a lot of my playtesting I was doing Turkey and I tried some in uh, Russia but I think I'm just gonna stick with North America for now um, America is a pretty decent funding nation they put a lot of money into into the project and um, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that um, somewhere right here in the Midwest or South probably is fine. Uh, yeah, let's, we'll just scoot it up. Okay, we'll scoot it up and cover most of the continent. Um, so yeah, that'll be good. Alright, that looks good right about there. Okay, a little, a little further north, maybe right on the border of Canada. We are going to name our base after... The mod website, openxcom.org. Um, and I'm going to name bases after uh, good websites, websites that are um, quite useful in terms of uh, XCOM, as well as somewhere there's some awesome communities that I've been able to be a part of over the years. Okay, so I'm going to put in my access lift right there. I'm going to put together this base in a slightly different manner than I have before and based on a design of found online which is kind of cool and I don't really know if it has a direct impact or not on the actual functioning of the base in terms of um, there is a there there used to be a uh, an issue you could call it all right small radar there okay um there should be an issue with setting up the base in that there could be a problem with tiles on these edges getting a dirt wall that separated them out from the rest of the base during a base defense so this base design kind of um helps eliminate that so that's kind of decent um and it also is just kind of another interesting configuration uh, i do like the fact that you can configure your base when you begin all right we got a few things to do i'm going to add some facilities here first off we are going to need an alien containment we are going to 
Now, I've got my list here, and let me just make sure that I don't forget anything. We're going to need another living quarters for sure. Um, we are going to need a general stores. Um, yeah, living quarters there. We're going to need a general stores. Um, we will... I'm going to go ahead and get a large radar system as well. We'll take that and put it in there. Okay, so that gives us an initial build of facilities. Okay, uh, two million left. Let's go ahead and get started researching with our puny allowance of scientists. And we'll go ahead and get all of them. I love the fact that you can right click on the up arrow and all of them are dedicated. It makes it a bit challenging to play Terror from the Deep as I'm finishing almost done with that last episode, Stark Project. I'm monologuing too much. Um, I'm almost done with the last mission, guys, in Terror from the Deep. Oh, I recorded and edited episode 99 yesterday. We finished the first stage of Teleth. And we've got like two more episodes left. But I wanted to start this series too, so I'm getting it started and I'm getting leaving a little chance for feedback in the Terror from the Deep series. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of these rolling and get the series kind of starting while that one's ending. Okay, so we've got, re we've got research going. Okay, let's get some craft stuff going on here. All right, stingrays. I'm gonna take the cannon off of this. I have a stingray launcher. Yeah. Mm. All right, put a stingray launcher on you. Okay. Let's get an avalanche launcher on you. Okay, so I've got um, interceptor one. We'll be, we'll be running my avalanche and intercept two will be running my stingrays. Okay, and crew. Let's get the equipment sorted first. I'm gonna de-equip everything. I kinda liked what Meridian did, um, and I love that he started his series. His series is gonna be amazing. I can't wait to see his next episode. Um, I'm gonna de-equip everything, and I'm gonna go ahead and sell some gear, because first of all, we don't need any long guns. No rifles, no heavy cannons. Um, long guns are bad. No auto cannons, no rocket launchers. None of that stuff. Nope, we just don't need it. Um, no, it's, it's, it's pistols, grenades, and melee only. Up close and personal, like we said. Okay, so I have sold that. Um, now we need to get buy some stuff. All right, let's get. I'm gonna pick up ten soldiers. Ten awesome soldiers. Twelve scientists. Yep, that's it. That's my living space. My living space. All right, I'm gonna pick up a couple of the drones here or droids. My little remote control cars here these are really awesome and i've had a discussion with meridian or not i've nerfed the price way down to make them a bit more appealing and they may be too appealing but that's the price i've got on them right now and it's the beauty of modding um if i if i feel like it's too cheap i'm you know might go back and bump it up but right now i feel that's pretty close to right okay combat knife Let's get our guys the ability to stick some things if they need to. Let's get some more pistols. Um, yeah, let's just get 10. Likelihood is we'll lose some dudes. I'm going to pick up uh, some more rounds. We will go through these pretty quick. Yeah, let's get 30. No rifles, no heavy cannons, no autos. Let's get some more grenades. How many grenades do I want? Yeah, let's get 20 because grenades are awesome. Smoke grenades. Let's get 10 of those. I've got my mouse wheel set to increment these by 10 so I can just roll up. Incendiaries. Let's get some incendiary grenades because these are also awesome. Uh, proxies. I like them. Um, okay, maybe, maybe 
not quite 20, but 10 will be fine. Uh, smoke, we got to get some high explosives. Definitely need those. All right, so we're just about out of space there, so got to be careful. Definitely need high explosives. Definitely going to get some tasers and electro flares. Okay, taser. How many can I get? Nine, huh? Hmm. Let's get six. All right. So until we, until we get the uh, ability to get some more space, we're kind of stuck with that. Let's get a few stun rods. Okay. That'll have to do. All right. So, yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. It looks like we're doing good right on track. We have... Let's take a look at the base facilities here. No, not that. Uh, base information. So, we've got 18 soldiers with some incoming. We've got 10 engineers. We've got 22 scientists. Living quarters, 50 stores, we're just about maxed. Labs, okay, I think that's pretty good. Our monthly costs will be about 3 million. That will go up because we will hire more scientists as we get the opportunity. Okay. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Um, Anything else here in the base? screen before I go all right let's get in here and just add some stuff back into the Sky Ranger okay pistols get all the clips grenades get all the grenades and smoke grenades so at least we have a tiny bit of stuff in there okay We've got soldiers that's good all right i think that is looking good all right let's hit the geoscape first of january and let's go ahead and hit the fast forward we already have a small ufo i was hoping all right um so i think we're gonna be good we're gonna be good in let's see intercept this guy center on the ufo he's right there Let's go ahead and, all right, we've got Interceptor 1 ready, but I think I want Interceptor 2 out on this. No, the other thing, hmm, yeah, so here's the deal. The deal is that oftentimes the very first UFO that comes will land. And if you can capture it intact, you are a lot further along. Now, we only have our eight soldiers. Um, and we could, we're probably going to lose a bunch of them. But I think it's probably worth it. So I think I'm going to send the Sky Ranger out and chase this guy. We'll go ahead and get our Sky Ranger 1. Uh, not the Sky Ranger 1. We'll also get the interceptor out but we won't shoot it down we'll just track it okay you go to there and just watch it please thank you let's go a little faster sky ranger will chase it i'm expecting oh it's getting away don't get away double back come on 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 come back oh opportunity lost <laughs> so what I know well yeah in my experience I had often found that that first UFO would land and getting that first UFO to land is great it's kind of better than shooting it down but having missed a shoot down mm, oh well okay UFO 2 and this is a night UFO. I'm not as interested in taking on uh, my very first UFO at night. So let's go ahead and shoot this guy down. You can get shot down now, sir. Right. And we'll tackle him in our next episode, the UFO Crash Lands. All right. Um, this will stick around for a little while, and we're going to get some gear in. 
developed yeah delivered here we go here's all our gear so we will get this gear and um, get it equipped onto the craft Sky Ranger 1 equip I'm gonna go ahead and pause this while I equip it and I'll bring you back and show you what I've got okay um, brought in combat knives for everyone pistols uh, one of the things about open XCOM is that the Sky Ranger does not have the open uh, the 80 item limit in open XCOM so that's a beautiful thing pistol clips grenades let's get uh, let's get some more grenades over come on there you go we'll pull them all into there for now smoke grenades I've got some over some incendiaries some proxies tenant high explosives stun rods tasers and electro flares so that's good let's go ahead since we're gonna go out on a mission very soon let's go ahead and equip some folks here all right a uh, couple things here um, probably gonna de-equip some of those hang on just a second okay that's more like it um, what happened was I was um, I set up that incendiary grenade uh, mod pack and I didn't realize it was using one of the graphics that I borrowed from that map mod pack when I made my flashbang grenades so this is the incendiary grenade I just switched the mod pack back over to its alternate graphics and that's the graphics I'm using for this mod so we've got he's got a fire grenade he's got a grenade um, that's fine at this point he'll get a knife oh he's a lightweight he's a weakling coward and weakling so this is the uh, stat strings and it adds um, a slash with then some codes behind to give you an idea of what this guy's made of so he's not got the ability to do a lot so he'll have a pistol and maybe yeah maybe a grenade I can't throw it very far so just he's really kind of not a great great doesn't have great accuracy okay um, and these names are some of those custom names that I created all right now here we have a heavy and M for marksman which is not bad at all so you will definitely get a pistol you can have a couple extra well at least one extra um, you can have definitely an extra set of ammo some grenades for sure those would be good yeah that'd be good okay maybe a smoke yeah maybe a smoke off the bat now what I'm gonna also do is prime some of these no okay I'm not gonna prime the grenade grenade I'm gonna prime the smoke grenade all right so that's good you still can carry more good let's get you a high explosive pack perfect and even another grenade even another grenade so you will be very valuable uh, the heavy soldiers with grenades are extremely valuable because they can throw heavy things pretty far um, not got great accuracy but decent reactions I'm probably going to tweak my ID settings again because the uh, my my name settings again because the name strings stat strings I guess you call it I'm not really a big fan of scout but it's supposed to indicate high reactions okay let's get you a pistol uh, you can have a no you don't need a clip you won't be you shouldn't be firing that much because you're not really good at it okay so that's good there go ahead and get you a grenade that's probably fine anonymous you also are heavy you know I gotta work on this because now we've got two anonymouses yeah it kind of bugs me to change your name sir all right well I'll change it another time accuracy is horrible okay um, you should carry grenades and heavies that's good and you've got enough for um, another thing you probably won't miss with a knife if you need it okay got another heavy but a decent accuracy so you can get a pistol and pistol clip you can carry that 
You can carry that. Good. Mud Masha. You, sir, are a good marksman. That's nice. Nice to have. Now, the likelihood is we are going to lose some of these guys. Um, and like my other series, I will probably... I am not planning on um, giving them subscriber names right off the bat. And I do that because it's always such a tragedy to lose a subscriber on the very first mission. The way we play this game is if you want to get a soldier named after you, leave a comment below. I'll add you to my roster, and then as soldiers move from rookie to squatty, which is the first promotion, we uh, they get a name, a real name. Okay, so I've got, uh, let's take another grenade here. Grenades are good. Your accuracy is not the hottest, but that's fine. You have good time units too. That's excellent. That is excellent. All right, initiate. Your, uh, your ability to shoot things is decent. So let's get you a pistol. Get you a pistol, but... Uh, some rounds in your backpack that's good and you are brave that's good and decent reactions no you're you're uh, you have good accuracy and good reactions that is good okay so how are we doing here hmm uh, you're set up I'm also configuring these guys according to their weight and back to anonymous the very first guy okay that's everybody all right, um, and that that's one of the settings I have turned on is to see their stats when we're equipping them. So here we are. It's day. I will I try to do the missions in the day as much as possible, especially our first missions because they get to be so tough. Sky Ranger one, Crash Light one, go go go! Excellent. Begin the mission. Yes, we will. We've already equipped everybody, and I love that. It holds all their gear. And we will uh, take a quick look around. See if we die on the ramp. Step out. Good. He didn't die. So that's always um, a happy coincidence, a happy time, when you step off the ramp and do not get blasted by plasma fire. But I tell you what, folks, that is going to wrap it up for this first episode of Open XCOM 1.0. We will um, continue this tactical mission and do more great stuff in the next episode. I want to thank you for joining me this episode of Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. A huge, a special thanks to the Open XCOM dev team for their amazing work for their terrific patience and advice as I was figuring out how to create my mods. If you have uh, enjoyed this episode, I invite you to sign up and join the force. You have been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich. We will see you again with episode two of Up Close and Personal. Cheers! <laughs>